In today's video, I'm sharing how I made Christmas ornaments using Dollar Tree contact paper, removable towel decals, and wallpaper. Super easy, super fun, no skill required, and you can get these done in time for Christmas. Well, actually, Christmas is, is a few weeks away, so you could probably get it done in time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Anyways, this video is also part of a collaboration. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Dollar Tree has a varied selection of contact paper and every now and then I will see some marble contact paper, but on this trip, <laughs> of course I didn't see any, so womp womp. I ended up choosing this gray and white patterned paper and this wood grained paper. And I wanted another option or two, so I went to where they have the quote unquote wallpaper <laughs> and removable tile decals. And as you can see, they have some really cool options. Have you ever wondered what you could do with leftover toilet paper tubes? Well, wonder no more because I have a project for you. For DIY number one, let's take those tubes and cover them with some fun contact paper, or you could use scrapbook paper or even just leave them plain if you wanted to. But today I'm covering mine. I'm covering these tubes with some contact paper. And as you can see, the paper wants to keep rolling up. Even, even with captain's help, the paper is still wanting to roll up. I initially just peeled the paper back and then started attaching it to the tube, but contact paper doesn't stick that well. So that's one reason why people use them for shelf liners and stuff like that. But because it's not permanent, I used a glue stick to adhere it a little bit better. And once I got it attached, I then flattened it out. And I also tried to make sure that the seam was on the edge of it. Like I'm trying to think how to explain this, but when you flatten it, make sure that the seam is not in the middle, but it's on the end. So it's not as noticeable. Then you will cut the contact paper covered tube into strips. My recommendation is to cut them into half inch strips. You could do bigger, but I think that the thinner strips just look a little bit better, but of course you do you. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but I had some chunkier ones and they looked bulkier and I was going for a more delicate look, I guess. And so that's why I'm saying go with about a half inch size. And y'all know I usually measure with my heart, but for this project, I needed them to be even. So that's why I measured it out. And now, as you can see, the ornament shape is coming together. I'm going to use these half beads for the center of my flower and to paint them, I take a piece of masking tape and put it sticky side up and use two smaller pieces of masking tape to hold it down. Then I can set those beads on there and they stay put while I paint them. And I'm doing one with Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and the other two with a folk art metallic gray paint. On the inside of the tube, there was like some writing. I mean, <laughs> not like handwriting or anything because that would be creepy, but like just wording in there. And I don't even know what it says, but I wanted to cover it up. So I painted two of the flowers with the silver paint and one with the crimson. And now it's time to put this little guy together. I put a dab of hot glue near the top of one of the shapes. Oh, and I also made sure that the seam was at the top as well. And then I glued another piece to that. Waited a second, then I repeated the process until they were all glued together in the shape of a flower with five petals. And you remember those half beads that I painted well. I'm taking one and hot gluing it to the center of the flower. And that's why earlier I said it would be better if the shapes were all even because when you hot glue on the bead, it won't be all wonky or anything like that. And I'll do a reveal at the end so you can see how it turned out. For DIY number two, I'm taking this copper embossed removable tile decal and tracing out six circle shapes. And you can make this as large or as small as you want. And one thing you need to remember is that the back of this decal, as well as like the back of the contact paper and stuff, it's not plain. So there's writing on it as well. And I didn't want that to show. So I peeled the decal and I attached it to some brown craft paper and then I cut out the shapes. 
And the next step is to fold all the circles in half. And this tile decal is thicker than the contact paper or regular craft paper. And because I also attached the brown craft paper to the back, it was extra thick. So I used a ruler to kind of help press it down. This circle shape that I used to trace out the other circles was out of a thinner paper, so I glued it to the cardboard. And that actually ended up being a little bit too thick, and you can kind of see it on the finished ornament, but anyways. You're gonna glue a folded half circle to one side of the base circle, and then glue another folded half circle to the other side. Then, you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Glue a folded half circle on one side of the base circle, and then glue the another folded half circle on the other side. And as you can see, I'm just using a glue stick. Then, on either side, it doesn't matter which side you do it on, you're gonna glue a folded half circle to one side of the circle, basically on top of the folded half circle that you already have glued on. And then you'll kind of open the circle and glue it to the other side so that it's all together, and then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. But here's a little bit slower. I'm putting some glue on one half of the circle and on top of the previous folded half circle that's already there. I'm adding some glue to the folded half circle I'm about to attach. I put it on there and I add some glue to the back of the folded half circle. I just glued down, open it up, press it down, that's it. As I mentioned earlier, today's video is part of a collaboration. It's the contact paper challenge and we were challenged to go to Dollar Tree, get some contact paper and create something cute. And I'm joined today by DIY from House to Home, Daisy DIY, and happiness created. These gals are amazing. I hope you check out the channels because I have them linked below as well as the playlist. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I mentioned before that the contact paper has stuff on the back. So for DIY number three, I'm adding some brown craft paper. And you have to be careful because while the contact paper is not overly sticky, the paper is definitely wanting to roll up on itself. So I used some of my paint jars to hold it down. Now, I don't know if I made this harder on myself, but I am using this strip template to cut the strips of paper using my paper cutter thing. And I think it would have been just as easy to do it with scissors, but I guess I wanted to look fancy or something and use my paper cutter. <laughs> and I got everything cut out and now I'm just punching holes on each end and also making sure that the strips are even. And I got these brads from the office supply store and you use one on each end. I did snip the ends of the brads because they were too long and I couldn't find the shorter ones. And after you attach the brad, then you can fan out the strips. I found that the paper, though, it needed to be like thicker or sturdier or something. The strips were just a bit too flimsy. I'll, and, but I'll do a reveal at the end, you can see. Hey, this week, it's going to be a crazy week because we have Thanksgiving. But if you find yourself thinking, hey, I just kind of want to chill out and check out some really cute crafts, then you need to join my Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. It's lots of fun. Link's gonna be below. If you join, post something that you're working on. We'd love to encourage you as you craft and create as well. Rolling right along with DIY number four, I have a one and a half inch circle die cut and I'm cutting out 20 circles. This is, you know, quote unquote wallpaper and I already attached the brown craft paper to the back. I made this little triangle to fit inside the circle to use as a template. And what I'm doing now is putting the triangle in the circle and then I'm folding up the sides of the circle around the triangle. And I do this for all 20 circles. And you need to try and make the fold come to a really good point. I didn't, and you'll kind of see later, it leaves a gap when I put it all together. Take 10 of the circles with the sides folded and glue them together to form a line. When you're done, it should kind of look like that. Now you're gonna connect the two ends together to form a chain or a circle. Now take five more of the circles and we're gonna glue them together. They're gonna to kind of form like a flower shape or kind of like a circle that's filled in. But before I glued the last one in place, I added a piece of ribbon right by the center to be the hanger. And you're gonna kind of see what I'm doing. And we're gonna glue this to one side of the circle. And you kind of set it on top and then glue the folded parts together. 
take the remaining five circles and glue them together to form that flower shape. And I'm putting this a little bit slower so you can hopefully see it better. And also, I guess you can enjoy watching me glue stuff, but you just kind of attach it and go around and hot glue, attach, go around, put some more hot glue, attach it. This is it, y'all, DIY number five. This paper I'm using is also considered wallpaper, but the concept is the same if you used contact paper or even craft paper. I already added brown craft paper to the back and cut this out to a large square shape. The size depends on how big you want this to turn out. And you're gonna fold this paper accordion style. I started out by folding it in the middle and then folding each side in half again and again until I got the pleat as big, or I guess as small as you want it. The smaller the better, but this paper felt a little on the thicker side, so it was a little harder to fold it small. And this is how small I got mine to be. I think it's a good size, but it was harder to fold because of the thickness. So I used a ruler to mash it down and yes, mash it down is a technical term, a <laughs> technical crafting term. So on this corner of the paper, I put a diagonal dotted line, making sure you're only putting dots on the fold, fold the paper in half, and you're going to cut a scalloped edge along the dotted line. The dots are where the, con the cur cut curves in and in between is where it hangs down. I kind of, I hope you see what I mean. Kind of hard to explain. I think that the pattern kind of hides how I cut it, but you're gonna redo the accordion style fold and then bend it towards the top so the top folds to meet the part where you started cutting. If you see what I mean. Now unfold the top part, the opposite end of the scallop, scalloped end, and cut down the middle until you get to the area that you folded it at. Re accordion, fold it back, and press both sections down away from each other. And then you're going to use a dab of hot glue in the center so it doesn't come apart and then glue each top side to the bottom side. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm making an angel. And while I really love this paper, it's not really showing the angel shape as well as it could. But to attach the head, take a bead and I have this very thin white ribbon. I thread the ribbon through the bead to form a loop. I tied a knot so it stays and I use the hot glue to glue it to the top of the angel. And by accident, I saw how pretty this would be if I just used that brown craft paper. I like that a lot better. Final reveal, y'all. So here's how it turned out. That's that wood circle one. This is where the gaps are because I didn't have that really pointy fold. This is the angel. Again, I like the pattern, but you know. It's not showing it off as good as I could. That red pop of color, I love it. I love it. And here's that ornament that looks, mimics copper. I think it turned out pretty as well. And overall, I really like the crafts. I think this would be a very kid-friendly thing to do. And let me know if you try it at home. I hope you enjoyed the ornaments that I created today using Dollar Tree products. They're so fun, so easy and um, no skill required. You can even do them with kits. But if you're using hot glue, be careful. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna link another video, and I forget if it goes up here or up here. I'll try to remember next time, but it's probably popped up by now in one of these corners, or one of the, like right here or something. And I, I think you'll enjoy that video as well. And don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna follow me on social media like TikTok, Instagram, or here on YouTube, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.